This is question 4 from the 2008 non-calculator paper. Here we're told that using the information that 4.8 times 34 equals 163.2, write down the value of 48 times 34. Now, a common thing to do here, maybe um, mistakenly, is to actually try to work this out from scratch. We're not being asked to do that. We're being asked to use this here to kind of infer our answer to these questions. So the first thing to note is that basically these digits here, 4.8 times 34, are using the same digits in this sum here. All that we can say is that this 4.8 has been multiplied by 10. So 4.8 has been multiplied by 10 to make 48. So that means that our answer would in turn be multiplied by 10. So our answer to that sum would be 163, uh, sorry, 1632. Just multiplied 163.2 by 10. Um, next up, question B. Well here we can see that 34 has been, in this case it's now 3.4. So we could say that this has been, oh, we could say that this has been divided, oh why does it keep doing that? This has been, there we go, divided by 10. So 34 divided by 10, that means that our answer would be divided by 10 as well. And so that means we'd have an answer of 16.32. Okay, uh, last question, probably the trickiest one, um, is 163.2 divided by 48. Now, we need to remember with this particular example, if we think about it, that um, if we think about, say, 5 times 4, for example, being 20. Now... 20 divided by, say, 5 gives us 4. Okay, and we can see that, that there. Or we could do 20 divided by 4 would give us 5. And we can see that that corresponds to that number there. Now, if we say, for example, what we could then say is that um, 163.2 divided by 48 that means that we've done 48 multiplied by a number which we don't know and that has given us 163.2 so what number, we know it's going to involve the digits uh, 3 and 4 so 48 multiplied by something has given us the answer 163.2 well what we can see here is that this part here has been multiplied by 10 to give us 48, but that means that the th to get the same answer as 163.2, that means that we this part here, 34, must have been divided by 10, so it must be 3.4. Okay, guys, um, if you got this question incorrect, what I suggest you do is you pause the video now and attempt this next question. If you got it right, move on to the next video. So, find the value of 8.4 multiplied by 62. Given the information that 8.4 times 6.2 equals 52.08, so we can see 62 is 6.2 has just been multiplied by 10 to give us that answer. So our answer here is going to be 10 times as much, which would be 520.8. Next one, 0.84 times 0.62. Here, both of these answers have been divided by 10, so that means that we could divide this by 10, then by 10 again. Or well, that's the same as dividing by 100, so it'd be 0 0.5208, and then the last one, 52.08 divided by 62, would mean that our answer here would be 0 0.84.